Hey guys, good morning. I hope you are doing well. Let's see here, make sure that I've got everything rocking and rolling. There we go. All right, thanks for stopping by to check out the video this morning. It is good to be with you, and I want to begin your day with a thought. And I think this is something that every voiceover talent should post in their studio because it is so true. And it's it's a um, it's an African proverb. Every morning, a gazelle wakes up and knows it must outrun the fastest lion, or it knows it will be killed. And every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle, or it will starve. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you'd better be running. And so uh, the purpose uh, of these uh, live stream videos is to is to get you motivated to get up and get those uh, the figurative voiceover running shoes on and get ready to hit the road and start running so we can so we can get it done. Uh, yesterday, yesterday um, I had a great question that popped up in the feed. And by the way, I, I always appreciate your comments and questions. I'm not always able to. And by the way, forgive me if you see light shining on my face on occasion as I have a window in front of me. I've got the blinds closed, but I can see there's like a little hole there between the blinds. And if my face is in the wrong place, the light hits me right in my my right eye. So I will try to avoid that for the stream here this morning. But if you have a, a comment or a question, please feel free to, to throw it up in the chat. Again, I, I may not be able to get to it today, but I might be able to bring it up, uh, you know, at another time, if not today. So yesterday... I received, let's see here, I saved the question, where is it? There it is. Okay, it was from Cecil. And Cecil asked this question. Within the many different VO genres, how do you manage your marketing efforts? I've heard some say that marketing in too many genres waters down your efforts. I don't necessarily believe that. Cecil, I think that you're a wise man. You should not necessarily believe that because I cannot think of a scenario well, where you could water down your efforts. And I, I suppose there are scenarios where that might be possible, but generally speaking, that's nothing that we should be worried about in, in terms of the scale that we work at. It's not like we're, um, you know, we're not, we're not doing massive national and global TV marketing and, you know, those kind of things. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, but let me talk to you about marketing a little bit this morning. And um, even though it's a little bit, I think it's really important because it's really, it's the philosophical <clears throat> base from which I work. And, you know, remember, I mean, I've been doing this for 16 years. Uh, I've made multiple six figures for many, many years doing this. So I, I don't say this out of theory. I say this out of practice. And it's interesting. I, I mean, I come from an academic background. I, I'm an MBA and and uh, I worked as a business consultant and, uh, you know, I've grown, grown radio stations and helped other business owners, you know, grow, grow their businesses. So that's my background. But I'm always, I'm always a suspicious of like a purely academic consultant who really doesn't have real world experience. So that's why I say that, because to let you know, this is not something I picked up in a textbook. Uh, this is what I live with. And I understand the idea of niche marketing. I, under, I understand the concept and believe in the principle of, uh, of not overstretching your brand and watering down your efforts. However, I think you have very little to worry about in voiceover. Um, my approach to voiceover marketing is to cast a very broad net, at least to begin. And frankly, I still, I've been doing this for a long time. I still cast a very broad net. And let me explain to you why. Number one, when you're first getting started, you really don't know what your niche, or as those of us in the Midwest like to call it, your niche is going to be. You just, you, you don't know. You know, you might know what you want to do. Um, I mean, we, most of us do have an idea of what we want to do, and we may or may not be successful within that particular niche. Um, but the thing is, the only way to know is not, it's not by even consulting a, a coach or an expert and telling you, you know, what should I what, focus on? You let the market tell you what you're best at. And the only way to let the market tell you what you're best at is to put yourself out into the market. Now, 
I, like I said, I've been doing this for a very long time. And I can tell you after 16 years, I can give you, I can tell you that my clients tend to gravitate. This is, if I, if I have a niche, it would be in healthcare. I do a lot of hospital commercial, like healthcare system commercials across the country, a lot of them. Um, I do, during the day, I do a ton of pharmaceutical work. Now, that is by no means everything that I do. Uh, I recently did some ADR work on a movie called War Hunt. Uh, I've done a number of video game characters, uh, none of which, by the way, any of that, the, t- the movie or the video games, I wasn't marketing specifically for that. I just, I was marketing very broadly and was able to get myself in front of enough of the right people that there are people who heard me and liked me for those, for those parts. Um, I do lots of, you know, tons of explainer videos, lots, oh, Lord knows, lots of e-learning. Uh, I was working yesterday. Um, I was contacted about doing a, um, a branding piece for a university um, brand anthem. Uh, you know, I, I, I do it all, uh, and that's okay, uh, because even though I have my, my niche in which I do tons of healthcare and pharmaceutical work, I also do all of this other stuff, and it all pays. But again, I let the market figure that out for me over the years. Now, even that being so, I don't market myself specifically as a medical voiceover talent or a pharmaceutical voiceover talent. Um, And the reason is, let me back up. The way I do market myself is to content producers. Let me tell you why. Content producers tend to produce, with there are a few exceptions, but generally speaking, content producers, i.e. video production companies, produce a broad variety of of things, everything from TV commercials to e-learning to corporate work and so on and so forth. So when I put myself out there when I'm marketing to these content producers or when I'm marketing myself strategically, strategically, by the way, on pay to play sites, that doesn't mean cattle call auditioning. That means positioning myself properly. Then I, I attract to myself the right people, you know, who want to use my voice. Many times it's medical healthcare related. Sometimes it's not, and that's fine. So don't get caught up in this whole in this whole niche marketing thing because there's a lot of nonsense being thrown around by by coaches about you know um, again watering down your efforts uh, and you know if you try to be all things to all people well the reality is in voiceover you're marketing to people who tend to be all things to all people and so you give them what you've got in terms of your demo let them see what you're good at they can decide where you fit into their mix. And then that way you begin to, uh, you know, really develop a book of business that revolves around your skill. And sometimes you'll be selected for jobs that you think, why in the world did they pick, like for instance, this movie that I just did, it's a Mickey Rourke movie called War Hunt. Um, I'm not an actor. I mean, I'm a voice actor, right? I've never had an acting lesson in my life. That's not my background. I feel, uh, I'll be honest with you, I feel a bit incompetent when it comes to it. It's, it's intimidating. And I was a little shocked when I was asked to do the part, um, but I did it. And it came out, I was, you know, it was not, there were a few things more exciting than watching a movie where, you know, your voice pops up. Um, and so that, you know, it's been fun to see the video games and the, you know, the things again that I would have never thought that I was capable of doing, that I'm doing it. Uh, while my bread and butter is this, are the things that I'm really comfortable with. So again, don't get caught up in this idea of figuring out your niche. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. Uh, make sure that you market broadly and consistently and a lot. And if you put yourself in front of people enough, the right people will hear you that need you and those opportunities will present yourself. So, um, again, just take that with you. you. Make that your marketing principle. The strategies are secondary. There's a million different strategies that you can use. But make sure that you do not try to figure out who you are earlier in your career. And even later in your career, don't, you know, I have not closed myself down to other possibilities. I market myself broadly. And who knows what might come up, what other opportunities 
you know, might come, might come up that I would have never, uh, never have expected. So, and okay, I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the stream chat here. Hey, Matt from Oklahoma City. Good morning. From Palm Springs, Jerry, Rob, and Mike. I see some regulars, some new folks. Uh, Flizzy Flo from Germany. All right. Good to have you on. CJ in Wisconsin. Uh, Thierry. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being here. And uh, the plan is, in case you're not aware, that every weekday morning um, I plan to be here at about 8 o'clock Eastern time and uh, in the morning to just give you a thought to start your day. And so today I want to talk about marketing. And if you have questions, comments, feel free to leave those in the chat and I'll be pulling from those to do a lot of questions going forward. But don't forget the African proverb, whether you're a lion or you're a gazelle, you're a gazelle when your feet hit the floor this morning, you better be running and you have to be to be successful in voiceover. And that's what I wish for you guys. So. Thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate it. And I look forward to talking.